Hello there and good morning. This is a welcome victory for the freedom of expression. As per usual, please like, subscribe. As per usual, please like, subscribe and comment below. And when subscribing, please press the little bell, but also select the All option, or you won't get any notifications. Although this victory for free speech is to be welcomed, it shows how far down the slippery slope we really are. It also shows how easy it would be to shut down someone exercising their right to free speech to the point of them being prosecuted and maybe even imprisoned. Christian preacher Hazel Lewis was arrested by the Metropolitan Police whilst preaching outside Finsbury Park tube station in February 2020, after passers-by claimed she was calling for gays and non-Christians to be stabbed. Thankfully, she was recording the proceedings on her mobile phone, which showed she had not engaged in homophobic or racist abuse. So it seems the police, or the CPS, decided to do her for the different offence of using threatening, abusive or insulting words or behaviour to cause harassment, alarm or distress. According to The Telegraph, Hazel Lewis said the members of the public that complained about her wanted to silence her and twist what she was saying, and also that the Met seemed determined to prosecute her no matter what, despite one officer saying that she did not rise to apparent goading from the members of the public around her. But after 18 months of being dragged through the courts, Hazel Lewis was told by District Judge Julian Newton that although the listeners had disagreed with what she said, she had not been threatening or abusive. And The Telegraph quotes Andrea Williams, the chief executive of the Christian Legal Centre, which supported her, as saying, since the turn of the century, we have seen a concerning escalation in street preacher arrests, despite strong legal precedents being set in defence of their freedoms. It is chilling that one false accusation to the police can see a woman preaching on her own, handcuffed, arrested and prosecuted. And by turn of the century, she means in the 21 years since the year 2000 in this supposedly more tolerant and welcoming Millennium UK. Hazel Lewis is now rightfully looking to sue the Met. And during her preaching, no one was physically attacked, no property was damaged and nothing was stolen. It was all based on words and claims of words. Now consider the case if she had not recorded what she did on her mobile phone. The course of justice could possibly, or even probably, have been perverted. She could have been found guilty on a false allegation of words. And it would be interesting to know if those that are determined by the Met to have brought false allegations will be prosecuted for perverting the course of justice. It would be a good deterrent. Or will they be let off scot-free to try it on with someone else? But Hazel Lewis is not the only one. The Christian Legal Centre is supporting others who have found that preaching the word of their Christian God in the UK can quickly draw the attention of the authorities who seem intent on shutting them down. We have it poured on us every single day that we in the UK must learn to be more tolerant except now where Christianity is concerned, it seems. These days it appears it is the Christians who are not to be tolerated. Would the police have dared to act in the same way against someone preaching any other religion? And if not, why Christianity? This may be a victory for free speech, but I fear it is a small isolated step. So sadly, I doubt Hazel Lewis will be the last one to go through this UK legal meat grinder. So what's your opinion on Christianity and the freedom of expression? Please like and comment below.